to our devotion today from the book of Psalm, chapter 4 and verse number 1. We're going to read it again as we do each day so that we can refresh our memory and follow through in the verse. He said, Hear me when I call a plea of help. O God of my righteousness, the God of my right standing, thou hast enlarged me. In other words, you have blessed me, you've strengthened me, you've helped me, you've, you've done for me this great greatness and this great deed when I was in distress, when I had no hope, when I was in a dark place, you blessed me. And then he says, have mercy upon me. And then he says, hear my prayer. Today we're going to talk about hear my prayer. They said when Luther's puppy happened to be at the table, he looked for a morsel from his master and watched with open mouth and motionless eyes. Then Martin said, Luther said, Oh, if I could only pray the way my dog watches the meat. All his thoughts are concentrated on the piece of meat. Otherwise, he has no thought, wish, or hope other than just to eat. And in this last part of the verse, David gives us these final words that he would write many times in different ways throughout his uh, book. He would, in the book of Psalm, he would say, hear my prayer. If you look at Psalms chapter 39 and verse 12, he said, hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear unto my cry. Hold not thy peace at my tears, for I am a stranger with thee and a sojourner as all my fathers were. He said, I'm a stranger and I'm weeping before you. I'm a sojourner just like my fathers and I pray that you will hold not your peace, but hear and give ear to my prayers. Psalms 54 and 2, he said, hear my prayer, O God, give ear to the words of my mouth. Psalms 84 and 8, O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. In other words, he's saying, I want you to listen to my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob, Selah. In Psalms 102 and verse 1, the Bible says, A prayer of the afflicted, when he is overwhelmed, and he poureth out his complaint before the Lord. He said, Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry come unto thee a psalm of david 143 and 1 hear my prayer o lord give ear to my supplications and thy faithfulness answer me and in thy righteousness david lived a life a prayer he lived a life where he was constantly asking god to hear my prayer i believe david just wanted that assurance to know that god would indeed hear his prayer. And maybe if we had the same tenacity to understand and just say, God, I'm calling out to you today. Hear my prayer. See the tears that flow from my eye and see the place that I'm at. And Lord, I'm asking you to hear my prayer. I'd like to close with this. When we pray, remember three things today. Number one, remember the love of God that wants the best for us. Number two, let's remember the wisdom of God that knows what is best for us. And finally, number three, let us remember as we pray and call out to God, the power of God that can accomplish it. Because the Apostle Paul told us that he can do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. So I challenge you today, go to prayer. Talk to the Lord and ask, seek, knock, because he can do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to his power and his ability because we are asking him to give according to his ability. And the Apostle Paul would say this, that my God shall supply all your need by his riches and glory. Let's pray. Lord Jesus. Thank you for the knowledge to know that when we pray, that you hear. When we call, you answer. In fact, the Bible says that while we are calling, you will hear. And while we are speaking, you are already sending an answer. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, because I know that you are hearing our prayer and sending an answer. 
and I praise you for it. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. God bless you. Have a great day in Christ, and I pray that you will continue to seek the Lord knowing that he delights in answering prayer. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.